Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at my answer real quick. So this is the original test function that you had, test one, and remember that we said that some of the behavior that that doesn't test for is basically all of these if statements here. So I'm going to go ahead and just write test two to test these two main ones. That is that the size, if the size is equal to the max, then we return false. And if the tail is equal to the max, then we reset the tail to zero. So let's go ahead and build that. Okay, so in test two, we create a queue of size two, and we make sure that it's empty to begin with, just as a good start. Then we in queue one and in queue two, we make sure that these both return true. And then we in Q3, or we attempt it to in Q3, which shouldn't work because remember it's only an, a queue of size 2. It can only store two elements. So we should be able to check that the tail, Q.tail, does not equal 0. If it doesn't, then we haven't reset it to 0 like we said we did right up here, remember. So that would be a problem. And we check that right there. And otherwise we print out test 2 is okay. So if we go ahead and run this, okay, and we see that we printed out test 2 is okay. So everything is good. So now let's go ahead and check out test 3. So for the third test, remember, let's take a look at the dequeue function really quick. So we want to test that when you dequeue an empty queue, you should return none, since there's nothing to return. Then we also want to check that if we dequeue and we have gone past the end of the queue, that is the head pointer has stepped out into a larger element than the total length of the queue, or the size of the queue, then we want to reset it to zero. So if we go forward and we're past the end, then we want to wrap it back around. So let's go ahead and take a look at test three. Okay, so the first thing we do is we initialize a queue of one element. So it can only store one element. It's not a terribly exciting queue. So first we try to empty it, which shouldn't work. If it does, then we've got a problem. Then after that, we try to dequeue, and so remember this should return none. If it doesn't return none, then again we've got a problem. If it does, then we continue. Now we in queue one element, so at this point the queue is full, and head should be at one, which is the max size of the queue. So now when we try to dequeue, we should reset queue.head to zero. If we don't, then we've got a problem. And we go ahead and check that the element that we get back out from dequeue is also one. Just to be complete. So if we get through all of this, then we print out test three okay. So let's go ahead and run that. And we see that yes, test three is okay. So you might have tested different things. You also might have tested just some of these, and that's fine. The goal was just to try to figure out different places in the code that you could test against that we hadn't already given you. And that's a really important thing to learn how to do as a tester. So okay, let's go ahead and move on.